What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, and we're going to do something a little different today. I don't usually do this kind of stuff on my YouTube channel, but it's a special occasion. It's the end of the year. Actually, it's not just the end of the year. It is the end of the decade. That doesn't come around that often. So, we're going to turn away from sports for at least a few videos here, and we're going to talk about some of the highlights of the decade in art for me. Because I don't just watch sports. I play a lot of video games, and I watch a lot of movies. I watch some TV shows. I do all kinds of stuff like that. So I wanted to take some videos here to talk about what were the highlights of the decade for me in some of those categories. So if you came here expecting sports, you're, you're just going to have to turn away for at least a couple of videos here because we're going to be talking about some of my favorites in art over the past 10 years. So 2010 to 2019, when I think about that 10 year period, I think about a lot of things. I graduated in 2011. I got my first real job in 2011, a couple months later. I've moved a couple times. I've been in a couple different locations, worked for a couple different major corporations. And basically, yeah, it, it's been a really interesting decade. And there's been some really good art to come out of it. So I'm going to talk about my favorite video games of the decade. We're going to start with video games, and then we're going to do, I think, movies and TV shows. So we're going to start off here. I think a lot of people who watch my videos can relate to a lot of this because I think a lot of you guys play video games as well. So maybe you guys will find some common ground with me in my list here, but if not, that's cool too. This is just one man's personal opinion of the best games of the decade. I'm going to do a top 10 list, but first we're going to do a honorable mention list. So we're going to be starting at 15. So number 15, we're going to blow through this real quick. We have Uncharted 4, A Thief's End on PlayStation 4. Then we have The Last of Us, a PS3 game that came out right at the beginning of the decade. Next, we have Mass Effect 2. I played it on the PC. Great Western-style RPG. Number 12, we have Bioshock Infinite. I played it on the PS3. I also have it on the PC. Great, great shooter with a lot of great themes running through it. And final honorable mention will be Fallout New Vegas RPG. I played it on the PC myself. One of my favorites. Now, let's get to the top 10 list. We're counting down backwards from 10 to 1. So, number 10, Deus Ex Human Revolution on the PC for me. A first-person shooter that came out pretty close to the start of the decade. It was, especially at the time, a revolution in terms of a having a karma meter and having choices your player could make throughout the game that would affect gameplay and affect the story later on. A lot of fun RPG elements in terms of developing your character. A good storyline that made you think. Definitely one of my favorites of the decade. Number 9, Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age on PlayStation 4. This game was effectively a re-release of Final Fantasy XII, which came out in 2005, but it made many altercations to the um, RPG system, the leveling up system, the way in which you acquired abilities. It added some stuff, enough to make it its own separate game. Uh, I, I personally really loved the style of this game. I loved the way in which this game uh, worked. I loved the way in which you would uh, control your characters. I loved the melding of old school RPGs with new school style RPGs. One of my favorites. I streamed a lot of this game very recently on Twitch. And I fell in love with this game all over again. Number eight, we have Max Payne 3. I played it on the PC back at about 2013. I have loved this franchise since it started. The original Max Payne is actually one of my favorite games of all time. I also really liked 2. And this one came out a long time after the first two. 
and they did a lot of things to bring it into the next generation. The ragdoll physics of two were back. Uh, they did a storyline and they told a version of the Max Payne character that was much more appealing to me than what they did in 2. The game was extremely cinematic, but the bullet time uh, elements of the game were still extremely fun. And even though this game is short, even though there's not necessarily a lot to it, I found the way in which they advanced on their bullet time gameplay to be just a ton of fun. Number seven, Persona 5 on the PlayStation 4. Uh, this uh, current gen update to the Persona series is, in my opinion, one of the greatest achievements of this generation. The storyline is excellent. The character development and the way in which you develop your relationship with your friends and allies is excellent. Uh, it is a game that I invested well over 100 hours into just trying to beat it. I will absolutely be returning to Persona 5 when Royal comes out next year, and I consider this to be one of the best games of the decade. Number six, Red Dead Redemption 2. I played it on the PS4, an open world game that rivals anything Grand Theft Auto has ever done. A very wonderful period piece taking place in the Old West, telling a very compelling story of a gang of outlaws and what ends up driving them apart, what ends up causing the events of Red Dead Redemption 1 many years later. And there's just so much to do in this game. It is almost paralyzing. The game is absolutely beautiful. There is so much going on in this that it's almost amazing that video games have come as far as they have to create a game like Red Dead Redemption 2. Number five, number four, and number three are all, go all going to be of the same franchise, so you'll have to hold it. Bear with me here. We have number five, Disgaea 4, a promise unforgotten on the PlayStation 3. Number four, we have Disgaea 5, Alliance of Vengeance on the PS4. To date, I believe the only Disgaea original game that has come out on the PS4. And in number three, we have Disgaea D2, A Brighter Darkness. Disgaea is pound for pound the greatest video game franchise I have ever played, in my opinion. It takes the gameplay of Final Fantasy Tactics and puts it on steroids, basically improving on the gameplay of Final Fantasy Tactics in every way imaginable, while having a much better translation and an easier to follow storyline while basically giving the player an infinite amount of content to work through. So these three games, in my opinion, they're all almost perfect. They are all very, very much uh, adequate follow-ups to the original Disgaea games that were on the PS2. And Disgaea D2 in particular, in my opinion, stands above them because it is a direct sequel to Disgaea 1, which is something that I have wanted for a very long time. So, number 5, Disgaea 4. Number 4 is Disgaea 5. And number 3 is Disgaea D2. Number 2, Grand Theft Auto 5. I played it on the PS3 and the PS4. This is one of the rare games of this generation I have beaten three times. I played it twice on the PS3, and I beat it again on the PS4. There is so much to do in this game. There is so many side quests, so many fun things you can do with your character. So much good stuff in this game. A massive open world that allows you to do so much. Once again, it is almost paralyzing. I love the freedom of the stock market system. I love being able to play as three different characters. I loved everything they did in this sequel. I loved all the improvements they made over 4. I am very excited to see where they take this franchise next. And finally, number one, my favorite video game of the decade would be Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. This one's an interesting one because they did not finish the story of this game. And it does show in some areas. They did not get to fully tell the story of Metal Gear Solid 5 as the creators intended. And there are some sloppy aspects there, but this gameplay engine is so strong. This game looks so good. There's so much interactivity in this game. The the side missions are so much fun. I cannot help but consider it to be the 
most fun I've had with any game of this decade. Do I wish that Hideo Ko Kojima got to finish the game as he intended? Do I wish he got to basically just be able to finish this game before Konami forced it out? Sure. But the gameplay engine is so strong, it looks so good, and it's so fun. I can't think of a better gaming experience of this decade. So that's my top 10, along with some honorable mention spots. What are your favorite video games of this decade? All right, that's my take. Uh, I'll be coming out later on with another video where I go over some films that I thought were the best of this decade. And until then, have a good one.